Hey there everyone, I'm the Gross Kitty and welcome back to si Sally Face, finally! And I'm so happy to continue with chapter 2. I am- I love this so much and I am so excited to get, finally get to play it myself. Uh, again. So, if you are new to the channel- Oh shoot, right, um, last time! If you missed the video, I'll link it up above, but, uh, um, we saw maybe a glimpse of a red-eyed demon. We met our new neighbors. We met Larry, who is a pretty good friend. And then we met, um, Charlie, who turned out to have murdered someone. And that's about, that about sums up the first episode. So, on to the second episode. We have some, we have some mysteries going on. I know what's gonna happen. And I've got a... I've got some secrets that I may have written down to uh, do in this video. And before we get into the video, uh, hit <coughs> Excuse me. Hit the like button if you did like this video and and um, leave a comment with your thoughts on the video or any games you would like to see me play in the future. Consider subscribing if you are new to the channel. I will upload very frequently. And hit the notification bell so you don't miss a single video. And on to the video. We're back. With young Sally. Young, young Sally. All the birdies. Whee! Don't wander so far, sweetie. I want to see the doggy, Mom. Can you hear? Can't you hear him? Why don't you wait until your father gets here, okay? He should be here any minute now. But I really want to see it. Please, please, can I go see? The, go pet the doggy. All right, Sal. Just give me a second to get my purse. Then we can go together. Yay! I'll wait over there by the trees. I just stop suddenly. Just go, and I just stop suddenly. And I just go. And I stop. Okay, we're going. Eventually. Into the deep woods. It's gotta get darker and dark. Oh, hi. There's the dog. Oh, Jesus. I forgot about this. <laughs> Actually walking with blood all over his face. Hmm. This looks like the apocalypse. Enter. <sighs> Thank you so much for coming to help out with the toilet. Oh, this part. No problem, Mrs. Sanderson. I'll have it unclogged in no time. Wonderful. Herman normally would have taken care of it himself, but unfortunately his fingers have turned into banana peels. And the street corner is just so dangerous. I understand. Thank you so much, Larry. The bathroom is just over there. Mm -hmm. Here's a memory. Is that why everything's so tipped and warped? Ooh. Or is it just wonder? Mm. Look, if you look down in the um left hand left hand corner, is Jack Septica Septic Eye down there? It's so cool. It's so cool that they put that in. Everything that I'm about is supporting artists, or supporting other YouTubers, anything. Because I think it's so cool that other people get to put their own stuff out there as well. You there. Please. Help me. What's wrong? Water. It stopped. So thirsty. Don't worry, I know how to fix this. Please. Hurry. We I forget how to do this, but I will figure it out. Hmm. 
Did it be to be to be? Isn't that like second, third, first, or something like that? Yeah, I think it was second, third, first. Oh, I gotta turn up the. I had to turn up the brightness. It was so dark. It was right. You got some heavy footsteps there, Sal. It worked! It sounds like a giant stomping. Water! And sorry, man. You're dead. Too much water. I won't go over here though. See, there's nothing over there. Let's go back! And here it is. Yeah. There it is. Like, that kind of explains how it happened. And the footsteps that slowly disappear. Hi, wobbly wobbly. Wobbly, when will I fall? I just disappear. So, come closer. I have something to show you. Hi. I know you touched my pony. I thought we were friends now. Again, back to a red eyed demon. Man and man and man and be. Episode 2 The Wretch. Oh, and the music to this. Uh, the music to this is so amazing. I love the music. I want to find the soundtrack for this because it is so cool. Man, you're still having those nightmares? I haven't had them this bad since right after my mom died. I really think it's this building. There's something off about it. Dude, I know you're so insistent about it, but I really don't think this place is haunted. I've been here for most of my life and haven't seen any ghosts. But... But what? Well, we've known each other for a while now. I have to show you something. Come on. We Outside. Wait, weren't we just in- Oh, we went up the stairs, that's why. It's snowing out. Oh, and he's got little muffs. He's got them ear muffs. Whoa. How come you never told me about this? I swear I need to go oh, go when I need to be alone. My fortress is solitude. Awesome. We Tree house. This is so cool. I always wanted a tree house when I was younger. I don't think I ever had a tree house either. Yeah, my dad built this for me before he disappeared. Wait, what? What do you mean, disappeared? One day he was here and everything was okay, and the next day he was just gone. No, no, no nothing. And all of his things were still here. His clothes, his tools, his wallet, his driver's license, everything. He just disappeared. Darn. I'm so sorry, Larry. I know how hard that is. Did your parents not get along? No. My parents loved each other. They hardly ever fought or anything. It isn't what it sounds like. My dad didn't leave us. Even if that's what my mom chooses to believe. I know he wouldn't ever leave us like that. He loved us. I believe you. So what do you think happened? Look, you know I'm not generally superstitious. And I know you and Chuck swear that the apartments are haunted, but... Well, I think 
it's something else. Like what? I haven't told many people about this, but I know I can trust you, Sal. I know you won't judge me. Of course not. The day before he disappeared, I did something I'm not too proud of. My parents got some firecrackers and they told me so many times to wait for them. Not to play with them on my own, but I just couldn't resist, dude. I lit a few out back and one ended up in Mrs. Gibson's open window. Aw, oh, she's crackety. She's crouchy. She killed her pet rabbit. Jeez. Oh man, that's rough. Yeah, so I ran to check on Mrs. Gibson and she was screaming at me like crazy. As if I need another reason to pee off. That old bag. It feels horrible, though. That poor bunny. Anyway, as I was coming down in the elevator, that's when I saw the demon. He reached out and touched me. I got this super cold chill down my whole body. I was scared crapless, dude. I thought it was. I thought I was losing my mind. He was gone as quick as he came, just as the doors opened. He cursed me. Because of what I did, he cursed me. Everything in my life was effed up after that. My dad disappeared. My mom stopped talking for a while. I had to spend two weeks in juvie for accidentally killing that rabbit. My bike got stolen. I missed so much school I had to take summer classes. It's been one bad thing after the next. Ever since then, horrible things have happened to me or around me. So you think this curse took your dad away? I know how it sounds, but I know it's true. It's all my fault. My dad, the rabbit, Mrs. Sanderson, everything. Whoa, hold on, man. Even if there is some kind of curse on you, you can't blame yourself for every bad thing that happens. It's not all your fault. What did this demon look like? It was like nothing I've ever seen before. It was like a moving shadow, all black and misty, but it had the form of a man. And the eyes were the worst part. Those deep red eyes that pierced right through you. Holy crap. What? I've seen it too. I've seen your demon. No way. When? I swear. I've seen it in the building, just like you described. I bet it's linked to the other ghosts too. I don't know, dude. What if we break this curse of yours? How will we do that? Maybe there are some cl clues around that could help. We can try to find out more about the ghost. See if we can get to the bottom of this. Sure, why not? I've got nothing to lose. Nothing useful in there. I'm right there. Oh. Huh. That's strange. What is that? I found this weird Gear Boy cartridge in the Lost and Found box a while ago. I think it reacts to supernatural activity. That was one of the last pictures we took together. Not long before he disappeared. Hmm. I better keep looking. You. What's in this box? What's in the box? I have no idea, man. Belonged to my dad. It's some kind of puzzle box. Never could figure out how to open it, though. Looks like there's a piece missing. Oh yeah, you're right. I never noticed that before. You mind if I hold on to this? Nah, go ahead. Cool. Okay. Just let me know if you get it open. Of course. And I need to go to... We I just like how realistic the snow sounds too, like the crunching of the snow. He's following me, it's creepy. 
I'm gonna look around and see what else I can find out. Okay, sounds good. I said I had to stay here and take care of my mom. She's super sick. Yeah, I noticed that. Well, let me know if there's anything you need. Thanks, Sally. I should ask Megan if she knows anything about this demon. I hope she'll come out today. Check on Lisa. Hey Lisa, feeling any better today? Oh, hiya Sal. I think today might be wor the worst of it. Once I'm over this hump, I'll be right as rain. Which is good because there's so much work to be done. I'm just itching to get back to it. Take it easy for now and get some rest. Oh, don't you worry about me, Sal. I've been resisting plen arresting plenty and Larry has been so helpful too. I'll be just fine. Hi, Chug. Chug, what are you up to? Hi, Sally Face. I'm waiting for the snack guy to fill the machine. Can't start my Saturday without chocolate. I hear ya. I like to start the week on and off with video games and cartoons. Sally, you're my man. Did you see the new Rick Rico's Modish Wife episode? Yeah, that was great. I love that show. Me too. Cool. Going up to the fifth floor. Two, three, four, five. And slowly. Was it 504? Yeah. I should call Larry up here so he can meet Megan. Then he'll have to believe that as and apartments are haunted. Larry, you there? I'm here, what's up? Can you come up to 504? Sure, my mom just took her medicine, so she'll be passed out for a while anyway, so I'll be right up. Well, that took a lot less time than I expected. So, what is it you wanted to show me? Come on, she's in the bathroom. See? Just come on! You know, just two dudes going into the bathroom together. Nothing special here. Darn, these Fifth floor rooms have seen better days. Shh. What? Just wait a minute. Megan, are you here? Hello? I want you to meet my friend Larry. I don't think there's anything in here, dude. She might be afraid. She can be pretty shy, though. I haven't been able to get her to come out in a while. I hope she's okay. So you come up so you come up to this moldy old bathroom to talk to a dead girl? How often do you come up here? I've been able to talk to her a few times, but like I said, she hasn't been around lately. I'm not crazy, Larry. I'm going to prove this to you. Hey, I never said you were crazy, man. As weird as this is, I believe you, okay? You're my best bud, and if this helps at all with finding my dad, then I'm all in for it. I really thought we'd be able to talk to her today. I just had a feeling. Dude, know who you should talk with? Todd. He's probably the smartest kid I know. And he's also into the supernatural stuff like you are. I bet he could help somehow. Todd? Really? Huh. Never expected that he would believe in that stuff. He always seems so... Normal? Rational? Ha. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Okay, well... I'll go talk to him and see what I can find out. Alright, I'm gonna head back downstairs and make sure my mom's alright. Let me know if you find anything. Will do. Okay. Yeah, I wanna leave. What I really wanna do... I forget where Todd lives. I think it's... I could check the apartments. Is this where David lives? Oh, hi, Sal. What's using up to today? Hey, David. Have you ever seen any ghosts around? Yeah, for sure. The ghosts of my past keep me awake at night all the time. I barely get any sleep around here. 
Um, what about like a spirit of someone else that used to live here? Sal, you isn't gotta lay off the drugs, man. Trust me. You'll you'll have a better life for it. Don't make the same mistakes as I did. I think he's Okay. Oh well there there isn't a wash still. Sarah was supposed to go get him. Uh but we just got a talking and you know lost track of time. Alright, see ya. See ya. They're pretty busy right now, I shouldn't bother them. College students. Doug is downstairs and his parents are at work for the weekend. No one's home. Cool. Second floor? Unless he lives on the same floor as Sally. The people that lived here moved out after what happened with Charlie. This was Charlie's old place. That's Todd's place. Huh. Hey, Sally face. Hmm? Oh god. Sorry, it took me a minute to answer. I was wrapping up a tutoring session with Ashley. Have you two met? Hey, I'm Ash. <laughs> you must be Sally face. I've heard so much about you. Um, I, um, me? You have? <laughs> Love at first sight. Yeah, all good things, I swear. I'm glad I finally got to meet you. Me too. Uh, you do. Um, I, I mean, it's nice to meet you as well. Well, I'd love to stay and chat more, but I have to get going. Thanks for helping me out today, Todd. No problem. We can work more at, on algebra next week. Sounds good. I'll see you guys later. Hopefully, I'll run into you again soon, Sally Face. Yeah, that'd be awesome. <laughs> Enjoy the weekend, boys. You too. You too. You alright, Sal? You seem to be a you seem a bit anxious. Thanks for calling me out, Todd. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm good. I'm cool. Okay, so what brings you this way? Ash seems nice. Is she a freshman? Two? What's she like? Do you know? Do you know? Do you know? Her full name is Ashley Gambo. She's a freshman, like us, and an overall nice person. She has some trouble with math, so I've been tutoring her for the past couple of weeks. In exchange, she occasionally assists me with my art assignments. She sounds like a great friend. Sure, I suppose so. You didn't come here to talk about Ashley, though. So, what's up? Oh, right. I see dead people. Are you referring to Mrs. Satterson? No, it's something else. This building is haunted, and I'm trying to find out more about the ghosts here. Ah, I see. I need your help. Thank you for telling me your story. I think I may be of some assistance with your exploration of the paranormal. Specifically, I have a suspicion that an apparition resides in my bathroom. Huh, really? Yes, it does seem to be a strange coincidence that your Megan and my apparition are both found in bathrooms. However, it could also be that the water pipes act as some sort of conductor for them, though that is only speculation on my part. Do you have the gear void cartridge with you now? Yeah. Perfect. Let's go check out the bathroom. What do you usually do to call upon Megan? Does this gear void always light up when she's near? It doesn't light up every time. Usually I just start talking to her. Sometimes she comes out, sometimes she doesn't. Okay, go ahead and try the same thing here so we can attempt to summon the spirit. Hello? Is anyone here with us? We're not going to hurt you. We're your friends. Hello? Is anyone there? 
nothing is happening, and the game isn't lighting up either. Hmm. I have an idea. Let me see that. I bet I could modify your gear boy to help you detect supernatural hotspots. Cool, sounds good to me. I'll need two things in order to complete the alteration. First, I'll need something to amplify the device's reception, and second, something to boost its electrical output. So, like an antenna and a battery pack? Sure, I'll be in my room once you're ready. Cool. I'm going down to Larry's room. So he's in... That's the bathroom. Uh, your parents are into something, Todd. I think you should be, eh, moderately concerned. I mean, it makes them happy. Who am I to judge? Let's go down to Larry. Bye, Chug. Open the door. Where's 1A? Is it on the other side? Hey, mind if I borrow the antenna from your scanner? Uh, I guess that's okay. And I need a battery pack. Ooh, I think that's in my place, correct? Oh, from the walkie, huh? Is the mom okay? Yeah, she'll be alright. The change of seasons always gets to her. It's just a bad cold. She'll be okay. I'll be back. Hasta la vista, Sally. Cool. Oh, this battery pack is at my place. I'm gonna talk to Todd real quick. Actually, is there a way... I need to look at the walkie. No. Okay, um... Okay. I wish there was a way to use the stuff in there, because I think you could use the battery pack from the, uh, walkie, correct? Oh my goodness, gravy, I'm an idiot! We gonna go up to my place. Hi, cat. What you watching, buddy? Cool. Sounds like fun. It's a cat ball. It's not, the, why is the litter box in a closed bathroom? Are you watching Fast and Furious, sir? Dad, are you home? There's a bed now. Hi. Hi, Dad. Can't talk right now, Sal. I had to make this deadline for work. Well, at least you're happy. And working. And gosh, that freaking TV is loud. <laughs> I strum the guitar. Well, where would I get a battery pack? If I was a battery pack, where would I be? <laughs> Gizmo. Okay, I'm gonna go down to Todd and see if I can get some hints. Down to two. We're going to Todd's room. Todd's parents are in there. I don't want to bother them. Okay, cool. Bob! I like your fish. That's Bob. He's okay. My parents insisted that I needed more nature in my life to counterbalance all of this technology, as they put it. Well, I think it's good to have a pet. Will this work for the reception? Uh, antenna. Yes, this will work perfectly. 
This works for the power. Uh, walkie. Yes, the battery pack for your walkie will work. Okay, so it will work. Good thinking, Sally Face. With the two components you retrieved and your my own equipment, I can adequately make the modifications to the gear boy I spoke of earlier. Give me a moment to get ready. Heck yeah. Okay, all set. Behold, the super gear boy. Um, cool? Don't worry, you can still play games on it. It'll only be in ghost hunting mode while this strange cartridge is in it. Oh, awesome. You had me worried for a second. However, I unfortunately needed a few extra parts for your walkie-talkie and wasn't able to salvage it. I hope that it's alright. Larry's not gonna be happy. so happy about that. It's okay, though. It's for a good cause. Wonderful. Now for the results. You'll need to hold the system out with the antenna fully extended. To do so, press shi the shift button. The screen will glow if it detects any paranormal frequencies uh, in close proximity. While it's flashing, press that R button there to produce a large electrical discharge. If my theory is correct, then the surge of electricity will prove an ample source of power to energize nearby apparitions and possible other supernatural elements as well. Okay, I think I get the gist of it. I suggest that we take care to take it for a test run in my bathroom. Sounds good. Whatever you're ready, hold that super gear boy up by pressing shift. And then let's R. Cool. Maybe I... Never mind. It worked. Holy crap. His eyes went wide. Hello? What's the matter? I never thought he'd kill them. I... It's all my fault. Who? Stacy and her daughter. Oh god. What a fool I was for falling for a married woman. Never a crime to follow your heart. Yeah. It is if it's infidelity. You must be a romantic like I was. It's kind of you to say, but I know better than that. We want to help you. Why haven't you left this place? We can never leave. What do you mean? You can't pass on? What's keeping you here? Have you seen a demon with red eyes? Can you tell us any- No, 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 no! What, what is it? He's here. Who? The red-eyed man? The one who killed Stacy and her daughter? I have to go, I'm sorry. Well, someone's still surprised. That was a fully formed and conscious apparition. I've never seen anything like that. You okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. It's just one thing to read about the fairy level and formulate theories and a whole other thing to actually experience it. I know what you mean. It's a lot to take in. Well, we have some work to do. I think I've had my fill of excitement for today, so I'll stay here and do some research. I want to look into the history of Edison Apartments to see if I can find anything that, uh, about past residents and about the supposed murders. That'd be really helpful. While you do that, I'm going to search for more supernatural hotspots. Perfect. Oh, and by the way, I noticed some extraneous static around the game cartridge. You may want to check it out to make sure it's okay. Cool. Why can't I leave when I have that out? Well, obviously, we're gonna have to go to the fifth floor. Because there's a lot going on over there. Let me go to every door before I go to the place with Megan. Because I actually don't remember where these hotspots are. Oh, shoot. It's like super dark. Hold on. There we are. Hi. Bird's eye view. Bird cage. I 
It's so dark. All right, we're going over to 501 box. Cool. Let's go over to 503 lock. All right, 504 it is. Go over here first. No. All right. Let's go into the bathroom. See if we can find anything else over here. Um, nothing. Okay, so we're going down. Anything outside in the hallways? Nothing. Cool. Um, well, we know there's one in Larry's place, so let's go down there. We know there's one in Larry's uh, uh, bah, 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 kitchen. Cool. What the? Got it. Well, um, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go to the first floor. Oh my goodness, grave here, yeah, my daddy, yeah. nothing new here, just being an idiot like always, floor one. How may I help you, Sal? What's with the new camera? Didn't you and your father receive the invitation to the monthly meeting? Everything gets discussed there. Um, oh yeah, I guess we just kind of forgot about it. That's not a problem at all. Though I do suggest you join in on the meetings in the future, if you are, you're able to do that. You see, it helps keep everyone informed and up to date. Anyhow... To answer your question, I've had a new security system put in for everyone's safety. With all the recent events, the tenants were getting a bit nervous. My hope is that with this new state-of-the-art security system, everyone can feel more comfortable in their living arrangements. That makes sense. Thanks for catching me up on that. My pleasure. Have you... Uh, I'm not going to answer that. Good day. Anyone? Oh, I wonder if there's one in Charlie's old place. Now that I think about it. Um, he was on the... Was it the second? Or was it the third floor? Might have been the third floor. Might have been 304. Oh, no. It's the second floor. Cats are looking at me. There is one in there. I, I think they said there was a total of eight hot spots. Um, what? I think they said there was like a total of like eight hot spots. Something like that. Man, that smells damn lingering. I'm definitely not going in there. So Mrs. Sanderson's place should probably have one too, huh? Oh, I'll need a crowbar to get into the air. I don't think anyone put it in there. Maybe they left it for what happened next door. Okay, it's been months. How has this not been fixed up at all? 
Let's go see if Larry knows. I know where to get a crowbar, but um... I... don't know... Check out the super cure boy! Tom made that? That's pretty awesome, like... Wait, is that my walkie-talkie? Oh yeah, he needed the parts for the upgrade. I hope you don't mind. I can get us new ones. Darn. Well, that's okay. Hopefully it will help us find out, uh, find out more about these ghosts and my curse. Agreed. Okay, I'll be back. Hasta la vista, Sally. Stop it. Okay. Excuse me. Who is it? There it is. It's Sal from upstairs. Is there something you want? I just wanted to talk to you. To me? Oh, alright. Come on in then. The door is open. Mrs. Rosenberg. Hello there, Sally. What brings a young girl like you to this old woman? Hi, Miss Rosenberg. I wanted to ask you a few things, if that's okay. Ask away, child. I may not have much left, but time is all I've got now. Yes, time's all I have, and even that's, that'll soon slip away from me. Or maybe I'll never really have a grasp on it at all. Such a strange concept, isn't it? Time. Sitting here alone, the mind can drift. A great deal. Watering. What, what's beyond the veil? Get too deep into these thoughts and the world makes less and less sense. Yes, time is an enigma. Oh, but listen to me rambling on. I'm sorry, dear Sally. You have something to ask. How long have you lived here? Long indeed. Though it's hard to say exactly. My old mind can barely hold on to memories of yesterday anymore. Let alone the distant past. I'm afraid my days are nearing an end. Soon I will return to dust and my consciousness will merge with the great and mysterious nothing. A void that's impossible for our little brains to wrap their heads around and trust me when I say I've tried. Yes, a powerful, dreaded, empty nothingness. Oh, I'm sorry, sweetie, I've been rambling on again. What was your question? It's okay, Mrs. Rosenberg, I was asking about how long you've lived here in Addison Apartments. You know, I do remember when the Addison Addisons moved here from overseas to construct this building. Actually, this land belonged to my family first, but I decided to sell it to the Addisons since I was the only one remaining. I thought the company would be nice to have again. Someone to share the anguish of life with. I was young and desperate for a new beginning. What a foolish girl I was. Do you regret selling the land? A life as old as mine is filled with regret, my dear. Though it all eventually becomes meaningless. About Edison, about the Edisons. Whatever happened to the rest of the family? Did they live here around town? They're gone. Gone? Zion takes us all, Sally. Poor little Terrence is the last of his family. Oh, I suppose he's not so little now, but that's how I see him. As that young boy with a twinkle in his eye and a head filled with dreams. Now look at him, he never leaves that godforsaken room. Yeah, why does he stay locked away in there? He went a little kook, kooky after his family passed, if you ask me. The boy was so wound up, he was afraid of his own shadow. Terence worshipped his father and gave up on his dream of opening a tea house in order to run his father's apartment. Slowly but surely, he began confining himself in the safety of his room until one day he stopped coming out altogether. Yes, despite the ch a cheerful persona he puts forth from behind that the door of his, Terence Addison is about as timid as they come. Damaged by a life of misfortunes, aren't, but aren't we all, my dear? Yes, I suppose we are. Have you seen any ghosts in this building? Ghosts? Why in heavens would you worry about such a thing as ghosts? 
Sally, you're such a sweet young girl. You remind me of myself from another time. Do all those a favor. Enjoy your life while it lasts. Don't be consumed by the allure of death and its many secrets. I know. Yes, yes. It's quite tempting and very easy to get pulled in. Why you could, uh, why you could say we are all ghosts, really? Just waiting to pass from this place to the next. Such a thin membrane that separates existence and non-existence. With our frail bones and delicate casings, any small misstep could send us reeling into eternity of the blink of an eye. Please. Oh my, what is that horrific device you have? It's a... Uh, uh, well, it's sort of hard to explain. You really shouldn't tamper with things that you don't understand. Cool. I'm gonna head out. I think Mrs. Gibson would kill me if I bothered her again. Did I bother her? For frick's sake. Gosh darn sticky keys. Oh gosh darn it, I went to the wrong place. I'm supposed to go to Todd's. No, it's on the. I think he's on the second floor, not the third floor. Please, please, college students. Yeah, he's on the second floor. <laughs> I'm an idiot. Just a slight idiot. Do do do. Gosh darn it. Cool. What you got? It's strange, but I can't find any reports of past murders. The only thing that comes up in our Red Charlie, but look at this photo of him at the public record. Yeah, that's not him. What the? It gets even weirder. There's no trace of any of the officers that were here the day Mrs. Sanderson was killed. Not even in the classified police records. It's as if they weren't here at all or like they don't even exist. How is that possible? Not sure, but I'm going to keep looking into things. Check back into uh, it a little while. Oh, I'm going to keep search. I'm going to keep searching for more supernatural stuff in the meantime. Perfect. What? Okay. That's not what I meant to press. So. There's one. That didn't look good. Achievement unlocked. Devour. I need to go to the roof. I don't know how to go to the roof. It says it's in Larry's room. This is how just be me wandering every time. Oh my goodness gravy, I'm an idiot. Being in Larry's room, but it's in Larry's room. There we go. Oh my god, I'm glad we see. Here. So this is where it said the last hot spot is. Yeah, the photo. Sal? Who are you? 
Are you Jim Johnson? The, that the, the South uh, 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 lip uh, uh, and uh, you're breaking up. I can't quite hear you. I re I have much time, Larry. I haven't much for time. Just remember all. Yet yeah, remember the red ball. What do you mean? What are you? Good to go and and itch in a red ball. I'd die. Are you? I think it means keep an eye on the red ball. I think I love you. That's when I thought I was getting used to seeing ghosts. Uh, then that happens. Whatever that was. My life is weird. Well, I should probably go check in with Todd again see if he found anything. But I already did. Already beat you to that, Sal. Larry, do you sleep on the beanbag? Because where's your bed? Go talk to Todd. He's on the second floor, not the third floor. I gotta stop doing that. I found something interesting. It's a basic person case from 1987. Megan Holmes, age 7, lived, lived in Addison Apartments with her parents, Luke and Stacy. Looks like it may be your little friend from upstairs. She must be the daughter of that Greg from the, my bathroom was telling us about. The stories line up, right? Well, here's where it gets weird again. There's an update to the report. One day after the original was filed stating that the girl was found dead in Wendigo Lake, that's a few miles south of here, along with her parents. Says they have been fishing and fell into the river and drowned. Some kind of mudslide or something. That's definitely her. Wait a second. I've seen that necklace before. I know I have. She's never wearing it when I talk to her, but I've seen it somewhere. Since you haven't been able to summon her, even with the Super Gear Boy, perhaps finding that necklace will help somehow. That actually makes a lot of sense. It's something she had a connection to when she was alive. Now, I just need to remember where the heck I saw that thing. It's just a lot of wandering. This elevator is going to break with the amount of times I'm using it. I don't know if that made any sense because elevators are made to make and to get used that much. I knew I saw that necklace somewhere. Now Larry will see Megan for sure. Okay, work your magic whenever you're ready. Megan, are you with us? This is my friend Larry. We have some questions to ask you. Hi, Sally Face. Holy F Knuckles. That's not a nice word, Larry. <laughs> You'll have to forgive him, Megan. He's never seen a ghost before. It's okay. My daddy says bad words sometimes, too. That's just... Where have you been lately? What do you mean? I've been here the whole time. I've been trying to reach you. I think when you're alive, you can't see the other side. The other side? Yeah, that's where we all live. It's just like this side, but a little bit different. 
Oh, shoot. Do you know someone named Greg? Oh, you mean mommy's friend. I like Greg. He always brings me candy. Can you remember anything else about him? Um, just that he was nice and always brought candy. Oh, and my daddy didn't like him so much, but I don't know why. What can you tell me about your parents? I miss my mommy. She doesn't talk anymore. What about your dad? Daddy scares me now. He scares everyone here. But he wasn't always like that. He used to be nice like mommy. What happened? I remember they had a fight. And then he was sad. And then his sadness turned into angriness. Do you remember your last days? I don't know. It's all blurry now. Were you fishing at Lake Wendigo? Huh? No, I've never been fishing before. But my daddy went sometimes with Mr. Johnson. Wait, Jim Johnson? Yeah, how did you know that? That's my dad. Oh, I guess our daddies were friends. <laughs> Can you tell me where he is? Do you know anything else about him? Please, I need to know. I'm sorry you lost your daddy. I don't know where he is. I just know Mr. Johnson and my daddy went fishing a lot. I'm sorry. Is this your necklace? Hey, yes, where did you find that? It was downstairs in the bottom of the lost and found box. My mommy gave me that necklace. She was scared. She said it would protect me from the evil in the world. Do you know where your mommy is now? She's in her bedroom, but she never listens to me anymore. I don't think she can hear me. Do you think she... Uh-oh. What? Daddy's coming. He isn't like when I talk to people. I had to go. Bye bye. Wait, I. Crap. Yeah, they never seem to stick around long enough. Well, we're gonna need to get into that bedroom, but it's all boarded up. Can you get some tools for us? Actually, David borrowed my mom's crowbar and never gave it back. Would you mind go going and getting it from him? I've asked him like three times now and he always has some excuse. Maybe you'll have better luck. Sure, I'll head down to the third floor now and see what I can do. Do 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 do! Oh shoot, I could have left over there. Whoops. Alright. I'm going down to David's place, which is on what, the third floor? Everything's on the third floor now. What's up, brother? Can I borrow your crowbar? I'd love to lend it to you. But it's the only thing holding up my shelf right now. See those kids next door? Next door? In 301, they're nice kids and all, but they have these really loud parties sometimes. Shake the whole wall and my shelf falls right down. If you could talk to, to them for me, get them a little quieter, then I could let you borrow the crowbar. Okay, I can try talking to them. Thanks, so. Sal. I do it myself, but I'm out, out of clean clothes, you see, and I just hate to be the old party pooper, you know? It's not a problem, I'll be right back. Theseus. Alright, talk to you guys. Hey Sierra, what are you up to? Oh, hey Sally Face. I'm contemplating an alternate activity for tonight's party. My friends and I usually like to do our own thing, but I'm having trouble narrowing it down. Is it okay if I look over your list? Sure. Dungeons and Dragons, movie night, video games, chess tournament, karaoke, debate. Chess tournament. How about this? It has been a while since we've done a tournament. That's the perfect choice for tonight. Alright. Yo, what up, Sal? Hey, CJ. What are you up to? I'm trying to choose the music for a party tonight. Mind if I take have a look? Go for it, little dude. How 
How about this? Shit. I think this will put everyone to sleep. Alright. How about this? Huh. You know, there's something interesting about this one. It's unexpected. It's classy. I, I think this one works. Okay. And you? Hey Z, what's up? Hey Sally Face. I'm trying to choose a game for the party tonight. I've got this little book of games, but I don't know. Can I take a look? Be my guest. Musical chair. Charades. Spectre goose, dodgeball, cell phone, ping pong. Well, either telephone or charades. How about this game? That was my first choice as well. Maybe I should stick with my gut on this one. Alright. That should conclude it. That should be quieter for David. What's up, butter? What the heck? I did. Okay, well, telephone's next. Okay. You. How about this game? Hmm. You know, this reminds me of grade school. That touch of nostalgia could be just what this party needs. Thanks, Sal. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. I think that does it. Their party should be much quieter now. There we go. Now we got it. David? What's up, buddy? It worked. I worked it out with all the college students. They're going to have a much more low key party this time. Wow, that's great news. Thanks for the help, uh, uh, helping me out. Sarah will be so happy too. Last time, our wedding picture almost blew, blow up, blowed up to pieces. I'm glad to help. Right. Let me grab the that crowbar for you. One second. Here you go, buddy. Take care. Thanks. You too. Can I come in? Of course, my friend. Hey, Sarah. How's it going? Haha. <laughs> yeah, you's in right, babe. It is nice to have a relaxing weekend for once. Hey. You's in so funny, huh? Love you. Huh. Hey, David. Where did you get this little dial from? Oh, there was some junk in that old piece of wood I found. That must have fell off. Of. Where did you get that board from? Down by the garage outside. How's it, co how's it come, you asking? It's a missing piece to this puzzle box, see? Do you mind if I take it? Nah, go for it. It's all using Sally Face. Damn no, let's see. Just read that one. Flip. Hold on, I'm gonna be ducking for a second. I think it's that one. Oh no. It's that one. And this one should be that. Is that a little chip? Weird, it looks like some kind of computer chip. I have no idea what this is. I 
Alright. We do know who would know. I gotta stop doing that. What about you? What are you up to now? I'm doing something, some more research and reaching out to other paranormal enthusiasts online. If there is some kind of malicious presence in this in the building, there has to be a way to deal with it. Todd, I think you and I need to hang out more often. It's cool of you to help me out with this stuff. Anytime, so. Take a look at this. I found it inside of that puzzle box. It appears to be some sort of miniature computer chip. I've never seen anything like it before. This is either an incredible find or a really neat science fiction drop. What do you think it's for? There's only one way to find out. Well, we have to test it. While I'm cautious about installing foreign tech on my, into my computer, my curiosity overpowers any hesitation. I should be able to hook it up with a few minor modifications. Give me a second. Outstanding. It seems to have bonded to the motherboard on its own. This is remarkable. What is it? I have no idea. It's all jumbled. Oh my. Yeah, this is new to me. I haven't seen this before yet. Oh my. You, just, you have found the... Cogni cognition key. It's backwards, by the way. What is... Where am I? Some things will appear... Gr broken. Do not be afraid. Your mind... Cannot handle it all to and this is O N C E once all at once. I can't understand you. What everything will be. Revealed in time, you will know what to do. See that? Achievement unlocked the box. That's something I haven't seen before yet. That was cool. I haven't seen any of the secrets of this game. Oh, I've seen one major spoiler. Well, the spoiler is what happened to Sally's face, which I think is episode 5. I'm going to try and get that. It's going to be hard to get it, though. Alright, we're talking to Larry now. Got the crowbar. Awesome. Go ahead without me. I'll be up in a minute. I have to make a stop on the way. About the puzzle box. I see you found the missing piece to my dad's old Rubik's Cube. And you completely solved it? Darn, Sally, I don't know how you did it. That sucker is tough to figure out. But what about this little metal bo um, puzzle box? You remember it, don't you? Uh, not sure what you're talking about, dude. Don't you remember? I found it in your dad's chest from the treehouse. I remember you pulling out that old Rubik's Cube, but no metal box. You should really try to get some good sleep tonight, man. I think you're wearing yourself out. I... yeah, I guess so. I actually have not seen any of that dialogue. That's strange that he forgot about that. Um... I'm gonna see... I actually don't know if this is true or not, but I think I can use the crowbar. Could I use the crowbar to get into Mrs. Sanderson's place? 
I guess I could use the crowbar to break in. Maybe I could find something important inside? Yes! I can use the crowbar in here. There we are. Mr. Sanderson! Who are you? My name is Sal. I moved in after you died. Oh. Oh, she's talking through her mouth. I forgot about that. Or talking through her... Uh... That, uh, the, the throat. I can't remember much of it. Just hasty pieces, like walking from a dream. You know what happened in my Herman? He couldn't bear to come back to this room. Movers came and took everything out for him. He looked totally defeated. You must have meant the world to him. I miss him so much. This cold isolation is torturous. I wish we had never moved to this place. Then he would have never met them, and Charlie would have never... Oh no, it's coming back. Don't worry, Mrs. Sanderson. Go. Hide. Goodbye, Sal. Achievement unlocked. Unseen. Isn't that cool? I can't even go to the bathroom in this place. That's a cool little easter egg. Alright, we're going up to the fifth floor. The Megan place, right? I guess I've never checked out the bedroom before. I should be able to pull these boards off with a crowbar. Sally, you are strong. I have tried using a crowbar on some things. It's tough. Stacy? Are you okay? Uh, no, she's kind of nailed to the mattress. There's a huge hole in the wall. Look like there's a room on the other side. Yes, point of no return. Uh, hello? Oh Jesus Christ. There we go. Chapter 1. She desperately sought a place among the council, so the aspiring witch traveled deep into the castle for the initiation trial to retrieve the Book of Forgotten Truths. Ow. <laughs> Immediately. Oh, do I... Oh gosh. It's just like that one game where like you have to like you can't touch the edges.
his book. I have retrieved the book of forgotten truths. Will you not see my worth now? The council recognizes the great resolve you've shown us today. Let this book stand as testament of your place among our ranks from henceforth. May our sight pierce the heavens and our reach be infinite and everlasting. For we are the devourers of God. Great, chapter two. And the mysterious old woman gazed once again into Jim's eyes and said, If you can find the door this key unlocks, we will share the secrets of the universe with you. I'm glad I don't have to like resolve the puzzle every time at least. Enter, excuse me. I like the music though. I try to take it one button press at a time because that seems to be helping is patience. Never mind. I'm gonna go on my way through the maze. I'm terrible at mazes. I don't know why it's a maze. And not just one direct path. Oh wait, there's the door. Never mind. At least this place has save points. Okay, I gotta get to that button. Cool. There's the symbol. Ah, uh, sweet. use key. Okay, so chapter three I had something written down. Top right bottom. He knows why he was drawn to this place, yet not per yet could not prevent his feet from treading the dirt path before him. Perhaps it was simply curiosity, or perhaps it was destiny. Okay. Sorry, members only. Okay. Sounds like someone is crying. I better go check to make sure they're okay. Top. Right. Bottom. Right. Hello, miss. Are you okay? Who are you? 
pardon my rudeness, ma'am. My name is Gregory Mont Montague. Montague. I didn't mean to intrude on you. It's just that I heard crying and wanted to make sure everything was okay. That's kind of you. I take it you're not with the men of this church? No, ma'am. That's for the best. It's terrible what goes on in this place. It keeps me up at night. I'm beginning to fear for mine and my daughter's safety. I've tried to reason with them. I've reached my wit's end. I understand. I lost my family last year in, their, uh, in the big factory fire. Breaks my heart to see a kind of unkind lady such as yourself so broken up. I'd like to help however I can. You just need to tell me what you need. That's awful kind of you, Mr. Montague. I'm dearly sorry about your family. Please, call me Greg. Pleasure to meet you, Greg. I'm Stacy Holmes. You couldn't have come along at a better time. You must be an angel. Just a humble farmer that's glad to be helpful to a nice folk like you. The pleasure is all mine. The next note is until chapter 5. When her husband learned of her indiscretions, Stacy knew there wasn't much time left in fear for her life. She turned to an unlikely ally. Okay, she said I need to cut the power lines on each floor. I hope we can pull this off. I need to cut the power on this floor first. Ah, shoot. I can't take that now. Okay. Okay, Rosenberg. I cut the power and Greg disposed of the bones. Good. And I've destroyed the seventh book. We will we really be able to stop them? We've got a good chance. Nothing is guaranteed, but I think we might have done it. I should have never let things get this far in the first place. I'm sorry that Luke had to get your family involved in the, all this. If we can stop the ritual, then the council won't have another chance to perform it for a thousand years. Then I pray to God that this works. God doesn't care about us, my dear. Don't waste your breath on such things. We must fight for our own survival. Oh, jeez. Fifth chapter. From the first scream, move as follows. Down left, down right. Playtime was interrupted by the promptly uh, setting sun. In that moment, the young girl realized she had gone too far too deep into the unfamiliar woods. Down left, down right. So down left down right. Where have you been, child? You had me worried sick. I'm sorry, Mama. I was lost and it was so dark and... and hush now. My sweet angel, everything is okay. Here, I want you to have this. Grandma's necklace? It will protect you from the wickedness in this world so you don't have to be afraid anymore. What about Father? He doesn't have to know. This will be our little secret. In the sixth chapter, I need to find three skulls. Uh, 
A young occultist found herself tangled in the bowels of the castle, searching for the final components the council required. Okay, so find these the top left, go up. And continue upwards to the fork. There's one. Okay. Then you go to the left of the pentagram and need to find a different town. Left then. So left of the pentagram I need to find a descent down there it is Third one, I gotta go all the way back. Actually, I can just run into these. And then go this I hate way. how they have patches of spikes everywhere. Like, what the heck? There we are. I have retrieved the remaining assets. Very good. The preparations are now complete. Stay within the circle. Well, we perform the summoning. I understand. Is this what happened to Rosenberg? Is this what happened to Rosenberg? Alright, chapter 7. In a moment, he found himself somewhere else. Even though Luke wasn't sure how he ended up here, he knew what he do must be done. The woman is a threat to us. She cannot be trusted. We will accomplish great things together and cannot afford any obstacles. Well, he's fast. Oh, this explains the urgency. This is gonna be hard. Oh my. Oh my. The child will only slow us down. She will never follow us with her mother's treacherous blood running through her veins. So is my guess is that her dad was like possessed by the demon and that the dad was convinced to kill the whole family because of the demon. Walk with me into the undying flame, and our power shall be endless. Whoop. Whoop. One way to get a demon out of you is to run head first into lasers. Well, I'll get there eventually. I'll get there eventually. I promise you, I said I was going to solve the mysteries of this game, and I'm going to solve the mysteries of this game one way or another. Wow. 
Well, that doesn't help. I can't do anything. I can't do anything. Okay, there we go. Fire's following me. Can I walk into the flame? Luke? Can you hear me? Oh, jeez, I'm... I'm gonna have to censor that. Luke? Oh my gosh. Oh. What the heck just happened? Todd gave me one of his adventures. He said that theoretically it could overload and destroy any evil spirit. After I got it, I came upstairs right away to make sure you were okay. It's a good thing you did. So that red-eyed creep has been here for decades. That was before I was even born. Guess maybe I'm not cursed after all. Yeah, who knew Addison Apartments had such a dark past? I thought living here with Charlie was freaky. Darn, this crap is nuts, dude. Well, I don't think we'll have to worry about the demon showing up anymore. Todd's thingy seemed like it took care of it. Oh. Uh, what is it? No, that's great and all. I was just thinking. I guess since there's no curse, that this all means that my dad, he, he just... Oh, Larry. Oh, this is so wholesome. <laughs> I'm sorry, Sal. That is our time for today. The guards are giving me the look. Wait, that's always only part of the story. I had hoped to get some honest insight from you today, especially with this being our last session and your trial in just a few days. I swear on my life I've told you nothing but the truth. Government conspiracies, demons, ghosts, and some kind of magical video game system? Sal, these things don't exist. You really can't expect me to believe you. Think about it from my perspective, the evidence against you from what you did. Well, it is profound. I know how it sounds, but what I've told you is the truth. Go to the treehouse, please. Just go and see for yourself. You'll find all the proof you need. What the- what a effing psycho, eh? I think he's intrigued. Driving, driving, driving down the road at night. What happened to the apartments? Jeez, um. Well, I know what happened, but jeez, um. We are going to the treehouse. It looks like the apocalypse happened. They're filled with old clothes, books, sets, nothing of importance. Rusty tools and other various junk. Fueled amateur paintings, probably Larry's. Seems to be a photograph of Larry's parents. Nothing strange about it, though. Ugh, there's absolutely nothing up here. I don't know what I was thinking. I guess I just need to see for myself. Sal was so convincing. This whole thing has seemed off. Um, Larry's dead. Dr. Enon? What? What? <laughs> don't freak out, man. We need your help. You have to get Sal out of jail. This crap is much deeper than we thought. Please. You have to get Sal out of here. This, this, you, 
You can't be... Calm down, dude. You're gonna give yourself a heart attack. This is important. If Sal doesn't get here soon, then... Uh... Yeah, and he fell to his death. Crap. Yeah, he dead dead. Achievement unlocked. Conjure. Alright. And that's going to be the end of the video. Feel free to leave a comment before you go and leave a like if you did like this video. Uh, consider subscribing if you are new to the channel. I will upload very frequently and hit the notification bell so you don't miss a single video. If you still want to have more notification, I also have a Twitter page at, page at the Gross Giddy right here on the screen. And I will see you all later. Bye. Peace off.